Hey guys, Spidey here, and today I got my combo review. This is from one, two, three weeks ago. So this was the uh, week where it's the final um, week of vill uh, Villains Month. So we'll talk about my Villains Month titles first. Um, first up, we got Bane. Now, what I thought of Bane, I thought it was overall was good. It sets up the arc more. The art was pretty good for the most part. I mean, it's not the greatest art you've seen, but I mean, it's it's half decent and. It's pretty much Bane coming from Santa Presca, I believe it's how it's pronounced. The prison that he was uh, grew up in, uh, he's coming from that prison, and he's coming back to Gotham, where um, the Arkham War is going to take place, and he's going to be a big factor in that. Overall, I mean, it wasn't the greatest thing I've ever read, but it wasn't the worst, so I'll give it a 3. I'll give it a solid 3. This one is actually from the second week. A villains month this is the riddler and overall this was a this was actually a phenomenal read i loved this book um the art was great pretty much and it it doesn't really tie into forever evil but it's like what the riddler is doing you know with this no more superheroes thing so it's going on when the forever evil is going on which i like and it's pretty much what happened was there was a guard in arkham that wasn't particular that um the riddler didn't like He's going to break into Wayne Enterprise because, you know, it's like, um, the most secure building ever, and he wants to, in, or in the city, and he wants to break into it, and while he breaks into it, doing so, he's gonna get revenge on that guard that wasn't really nice to him, or whatever. Um, I mean, it's cool, we get to see some cool Riddler stuff, some cool, like, I don't know, I enjoyed it. Give it a 4.5 out of 5. The Penguin, now, I don't, I don't care what any of you guys say about this. I love this issue. I love the Penguin issue, uh, the Villains Month issue. This was really good um, because it it's like the Riddler, where it doesn't really you know tie in to Forever Evil, doesn't tie into Arkham, but it's what the Penguin is doing um, at at the moment. And you know we get to see him do some badass things here to these people who uh, cheated the casino. That I wasn't fully like on board though at this point. It was not until he blackmailed the governor. Um, I don't want to spoil any of it, but that part really made me cringe in a couple parts, and it really made me think, wow, this was a great issue. 4.5 out of 5. Okay, now on to a not-so-great issue. Sinestro. This was a disappointment, because when you think of it, when did we last see Sinestro? He just killed the Guardians. Killed the Guardians. This is a great opportunity to bring him back and do something really good with the character and make a really good book. Where, you know, you have a character who just did something drastic. Uh, I, yeah, I think Sinestro, yeah, Sinestro got away. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, he did something drastic. And if he didn't get away, or I, I can't remember, that issue was pretty bad, the Green Lantern Jeff Johns finale issue. But if he didn't get away, they shouldn't have done a Sinestro book. But I mean, you—it's almost like the Joker. You had a chance to bring him back and do something really special, and really have something good happen and have some goodness here. But you decided to do an origin story. I mean, the art is great, but it's an origin story we've seen so many times. I mean, I understand you revamp stuff a little bit, and yeah, they did sort of change stuff up. I mean, you know, it's new. But how many times have you seen this origin story? Since Jeff Johns is on board, I mean, it's been told and told and told and told and told, and this was not the time to tell the new origin story for Sinestro. One out of five. Ocean Master. This was good. This ties into For Every Rule, because this is the Ocean Master breaking out of prison, almost like the Black Manta issue. And this was really good. I really enjoyed this one. The art was really good. Uh, it was cool seeing the Ocean Master break out of prison. Um, all in all, I thought it was a solid issue. That's why I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. This was the comic of the week. Hands down. This is crazy. A DC book gets comic of the week. For this week. This bunch. Unbelievable. First of all, I'm just going to shock everybody by saying this was a 5 out of 5 issue. Because the only problem I have with it is that it's called Secret Society and it has a Secret Society on the front. It's not. It's an Owlman book. It's pretty much Owlman. But this is an important read for anyone who wants to know what is going on with um, you know, uh, how the uh, crime syndicate got here. It's essential. It's what This is what Villains Month should have been. Uh, we get to see some great artwork. This is a masterpiece. 
Uh, so there's some dark scenes. There's some really good scenes. It's pretty much Owl Man fighting the Joker, and there's a chase going on in the city. And we also find out why um, the crime syndicate targeted Dick Grayson. So a lot of things, a lot of answers are given to us here in this issue. Uh, five out of five issue. Really interesting read. Very interesting. Uh, very good artwork. Very dark tone to it. I have to give this a five out of five. This is the best DC issue in a long time. Props must be given when props are due. But every great issue DC does, they obviously have to take a step back, and we gotta we gotta talk about Mongol. It's the biggest piece of shit you're ever gonna read. The art is shit. The um the writing is shit. Everything about this issue is shit. So I'm giving it a point five out of five. Deadpool, the good, the bad, and the ugly. This was a phenomenal read. This is my runner-up for comic of the week from this week. It was pretty much them breaking out of this prison, or this camp, and it was very entertaining, very exciting. I'm very excited to read the next issue. I do have it. It's right over on my comic book box, right there, ready, waiting to get read, because this week was a pretty big week. We had the Batman Zero Year, which was phenomenal, and I still haven't read any of last week's comic books, so don't blame me, <laughs> but this was a great issue. Um, I give this a 4.8, and the Infinity issue uh, was pretty entertaining as well. With great artwork and some great stuff going on. Uh, I'm not really going to touch too much on this because, you know, these are old comic books. You don't want to hear it all again. But this is this was a good read. I'm going to give this 4 to 5. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will be getting to you with my reviews from this week's comic books. Uh, hopefully last week's comic books are coming up soon. And, of course, I'm going to be doing today my top 5 and top my top five best and top five worst from the villains month. So stick around for that. That's coming up next. That's going to be right after this. So by the time this is uploaded, that'll be uploaded too. So just jump to that. Anyways, peace out.